Um, hey guys, this is EJ Holland with the Wolverine.com here with Michigan linebacker Junior Colson. I almost called you Rivals 100 linebacker Junior Colson. <laughs> you know, it's funny, Junior. We the last time I saw Junior Colson, I was. Uh, do you remember where you remember we were eating at that one spot in Ann Arbor? Oh, uh, Zingerman's. Zingerman's. Okay. See, I didn't want to like leave leave out their day, but last time I was with Junior. We, I ate with him and his parents and Junior down this like, what was it, like a T-bone steak in like two minutes. Yeah. I've never seen anyone eat a steak that fast, man. It's It was ridiculous. Even the waitress came by and was like, oh my God. <laughs> but nah, Junior, how you doing, man? Um, I'm doing great. Enjoying everything that God has given me. I'm enjoying talking to you right now. So life's been good. <laughs> yeah, I told Junior before we started this that I missed covering him. His class was really cool. And obviously, Junior was one of my favorites, just getting to know him throughout the process. And, I, you know, we were at that dinner and I was like, Junior, I'm never going to interview you again. And now here we are because of NIL. Um, obviously, you know, that's kind of been big for you guys being able to, to make money, especially you guys as a freshman. You're getting paid right now through me. So, you know, tell me a little bit about NIL and, you know, how you and some of your teammates have reacted to this new rule allowing you guys to, to profit off yourselves. Uh, NIL has been interesting for a lot of our players and, like, a lot of my good friends here. Like, we're not rushing into anything. We're, we're taking it slow. We're taking our time, making sure we go through the process properly. We're not just signing any deals. I see a lot of kids just sign any deal they see out there. I'm like, you're not reading the fine print. <laughs> so I, I try to leave most of the NIL stuff to my parents. I'm like, let's get everything situated out. I got time. I don't need to sign anything right now. So I don't know how I went off, off on my first one, but, you know, just wait on my parents, you know, get everything situated. Yeah, so what are some things you've talked about with uh, your parents, your mom, Melanie's obviously very involved, your dad, Steve's really awesome dude. So what, what have you talked about with them about how you guys are going to set things up? Like, what do you kind of have in the works to make sure everything's, you know, set up? Yeah, uh, well, right now, I know my mom's creating me a website. It's going to be LLC, so that I'll own the name and all that stuff. I can sell products, can get receive stuff just sign deals with different people, but uh, she is making sure we do everything the right way. So then later in, in time, we don't get in trouble. With, Cause I know like right now we're still in the early works of the NIL. So new rules are gonna come out and different things. So right now we're just trying to make sure we go through the process so that those stuff those don't stop us in the later when it's not when it's not those thoughts on the players, you know, just enjoy college. Yeah, definitely. So uh, let's uh, transition over to Michigan, man. Just tell me a little bit about how everything's been going for you up in Ann Arbor. How are you enjoying it? Uh, it's a new state. You know, I've only, it's my third home. It's only been a couple of places. And I've really enjoyed this process. A lot of people, a lot of people around here have been like brought me into their fold. So I feel like a family here, which is one of the reasons I committed here. The coaches are amazing. Uh, people in town, they're, just, they're, they're fabulous. You know, they're probably one of the nicest people I've ever met. Every time you go outside, you're like, ah, uh -huh, you know, introducing me, new people. Uh, and if I'm really, I'm, I'm a big homebody type of person, so I like being at home. And I just feel like this has become my second home. I, I haven't been as homesick as I thought I would be. So it's just been a good process, been a good transition. Definitely. What's been like the biggest? adjustment would you say going from high school to Michigan I know you've been there a couple of semesters because you enrolled early so what's kind of been that big thing that's really taking adjusting uh being on your own I think that's probably like the biggest thing being on your own still be able to hold yourself accountable even though your parents are not here still being able to like you know hold those same integrities that you had growing up not letting you know people sway you attention sway you just being having that freedom because like you know it's a gift to have that freedom so you know take it granted but like still be that same person you were before you don't have to change everything about you just because you're a new place you know parents not looking out for you and stuff like that so that's one of these things I have to learn 
on the football field, you know, what's it been like just getting to, you know, practice, be a part of the Michigan program, kind of take me through your time um, within the actual football program? Yes, sir. Uh, it's been amazing. Practice has been amazing. I've enjoyed it from like the first day of practice. I knew coaches there. I was, when I first came, I was like skeptical, but after I met them, got to work with them, babies. They're amazing. They're probably some of the best coaches. They're probably the best coaches I've worked with. They, I believe they can take me to the next level of my talent. Uh, players are amazing. They, they like to compete, which is what I love. I love to compete. So, like, we're always pushing each other. It's like, and I love the linebacker room. Linebacker room is probably, like, my favorite thing. Cause like, there is no bad blood between us. There's no hate. We're, we're always competing. But then they we we bring each other together, hold us each other accountable. It's like you can pass a player on the depth chart, but like it doesn't matter. They're still gonna love you at the end. You're still gonna compete, which is uh, which is what I've like I've enjoyed so far here. Cause it's like a lot of people like are selfish, but around here is there's, there's not much selfishness. It's mostly about coming together, becoming the best we can be, becoming the best team. Cause uh, we can we can go out there and dominate during game days. Then. Uh, iron sharpens iron. And that's what that's what we believe in. Awesome. Uh, other than Junior Colson, who's impressed you in the linebacker room, and how much are you learning from some of those other uh, upperclassmen? Uh, Josh Ross has impressed me a lot. I, I like his, I like everything about him. He's, he's he's a great player. He's a great person. First, he's a great person. Uh, and then he's he's taking me under his wing, so he's taught me a lot of things. He's different. Things I could add to my game. Uh, I love working with him. Uh, Mike B, he's a funny dude. Uh, I work with him too. He likes to compete. I like to compete. But we're always competing in speed because he's more, before I came there, he's, he's still eight to five, one of the fast guys there. So he can move. So we're always competing in speed. Uh, and then Solo, Solo's been great help. He's kind of become one of like my really good friends. So I've came, I've came here like it's a good guy. Definitely. So uh, you know, you mentioned the coaching staff being, you know, some of the best coaches you've uh, been around. You know, these weren't necessarily the guys that recruited you. Obviously, you know, Brian G. Mary, Don Brown, those guys no longer there. Now you have a combo of Mike McDonald, George Hilo. Let's start off with George Hilo since he's your position coach specifically. You know, what stood out to you about uh, Hilo throughout the first few months? Uh, Hilo, we kind of go a little bit back because he was at Maryland and he had, he had uh, recruited me pretty hard from Maryland. Uh, but he's a he's a great coach. He, I probably meet with him every day, just on film, making sure I know everything, like just to be able to play at my best. And he tries to teach me every position on the field. So like, it's not just like you you just play one position. He, I, he can switch me around, move me around, move me to be at my best potential, and just. It's been it's been amazing working with him. What about Mike McDonald, man? Everybody's kind of said that he's like a really X's and O's guy, like coming from the Baltimore Ravens. Like, well, what can you tell me about Coach McDonald? Uh, he's a great guy. He's a great, he's a great person. Coaching wise, he's he's phenomenal. That man's that man's a genius when it comes to coaching. Uh, he's just coming up with plays, making sure we, just coming up with plays on the fly too. At sometimes because during practice, we're like. Oh, let's make this adjustment. Let's make this adjustment, uh, which is what well, I really enjoy because, like, you can tell like how it will be in the game. Say so, yeah, like, who can, he can make adjustments on the fly and stuff. Like, oh, you're losing this team, but like, you already made the game plan. You can't change anything about it. But that's like one thing I've seen about him. Like, and he his background's deep. You can't coach in the NFL for that long without you know knowing what you're doing. And he's brought that all to college and he's. I think he's probably, this year he's going to show that he's probably the best coach, coach out there. So with the transition with the new coaches, they also brought in a new defensive scheme. How are you kind of fitting into that scheme? Uh, I think the scheme fits me, like, better than most schemes would. Like, they have me, I can play multiple positions, but I'm playing inside, which is why I've always wanted to play. Because then I can just go from sideline to sideline, I feel, Easier and so being from like on one side of the field, being stopping me from stopping, going out, doing my thing. 
Talk a little bit more about kind of that in, in depth. What spot do they have you at in particular, and what are some of your assignments within this defensive scheme? Uh, they have me in particular at Will right now. So I've been, been learning Will, been learning uh, everything about the position because I, I usually play outside. So it's been new to me just having to take on blocks and doing all these different things. Uh, and the plays, the plays are amazing that they've added on to there. They've added different types of plays that, like, that are, the defense is meant for linebackers to eat. So, like, that's one of the things I really like because, like, everything's funnels to the linebackers on our whole defense. So everything's, like, if you're doing your job, you'll always be on the tackle. Right. So I – Heard some rumblings you have a chance for early playing time. You know, uh, where do you kind of sit with everything right now? How excited are you that you might get on the field as a true freshman? Um, I'm really excited that I might get on the field as a true freshman. Uh, hey, it's, it's, it's coming along really well. Love the process. Still got a long way to go from where I want to be. But, like, they believe in me. I believe in myself, too. And I think with both of us working together, we can achieve our goal. Right. So one of the things I definitely uh, wanted to ask you about is actually the strength and conditioning program. That's usually pretty big <laughs> for freshmen. Look at you. You know, I know that was big in your recruitment too. Tell me, tell me why you're smiling. Uh, our strength coaches are absolute geniuses. Coach Herb, he's, he's probably the best. No, I know he's definitely the best strength coach in the, in the nation. Uh, he's helped me with everything, every little detail. It's not just about, oh, how much weight can you push? It's like every little small detail. He's, he's like, make sure I can improve on. So like when I do step on the field, I, I can be the best player out there. And then uh, you can tell like I've filled out a lot more since I've came into the program. And it's just, it's not even about just like putting on weight. It's like, just making sure you're like, you're strong enough. You're like, you're physical enough. Everything like the proper mindset, the proper tools to go out there and dominate. Everything's about dominating. So it's kind of, He's kind of still down to me. He's kind of like, I'm kind of, I feel like a mold that he's, he's slowly shaping and into like perfect guy. What are you at right now? What's, what's, what are you weighing these days, Junior? Uh, I'm weighing 230. 230. It was, yeah, it was, I wasn't trying, they were like, we don't need to put much more weight on you. We just need like, you know, to work around and mold you to be stronger. So it's not like, I've not been trying to put on too much weight. I've gained about 10 pounds. Yeah. I'm not not working on that. And then we get a dice scan. So then it tells you like all your body stuff. So then it's like it's been good. It's been playing along really well. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't need to gain that way. Mm -hmm. I think you got there at like what, like two twenty? Yeah, about two twenty. Right, right. Okay, cool, cool. So, you know, obviously, yeah, everything's been going well on the football side. What about just, you know, the academic side? What's the transition been like going from high school to college, you know, in the classroom? Uh, the academic side is probably the easiest thing that's, uh, that's come along. Uh, it's it's intriguing because, like, most of my classes were online. So, when I didn't, I interacted with people, but it was, like, weird and different. <laughs> right. So, but, uh, I enjoyed it. I had two semesters down uh, and school starting up in a little bit. So I'm kind of excited to like, you know, get meet, meet new people, actually walk into class to actually get the college experience. That's what I'm looking forward to, but it's been, it's been a good semester. Yeah, so you said you, uh, you know, really, I guess the only interaction you've had is with your teammates. I know you've got a couple roommates just talk a little bit about you know the camaraderie you're building with some of the guys on the team right now some of the guys you came in with as freshmen uh I think we're we are growing something special not just with the freshmen but like all together like when our freshman class came it's kind of like push everyone to like compete more as some of the upperclassmen have told me they're like yeah y'all's class really kind of pushed us when you came early it's because there was like competition during spring ball was like higher, everybody was more excited. Coach has been raving about it. It's been like, it has been fun. It's like the most exciting uh, spring ball we've had. And so now we're trying to take down the camp. Then we are like, we are always building each other up. Then we've done like team building stuff, bringing our, ourselves together. Uh, hopefully it'll be, it'll be a good fall camp. And 
some of the freshmen I've, I've got to know a lot of them, you know, especially the ones that came late. Get to see them, like how they are, like during like walkthroughs in a little bit. But uh, I'm not really an extrovert person. So like, I don't really try to go out there and try to meet new people. So I kind of like try to stay to myself and then look like a couple of my friends here and there. Junior lies. He's always had a smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, but everybody, lo everybody loves Junior. What do, you, what do you mean, man? No, but like, they do, they do. Like, but like, I'm not one to like go out and try like meet new people every now, you know? But I'm more of like, I'll smile, I'll have fun, like enjoy life, but like I'm not like always talking and stuff. I'm more just like, I listen, I observe. I'll be there, but like, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you were, you know, obviously one of my favorite guys, one of my highest rated guys uh, with the other two, you know, really having high grades being JJ McCarthy, Donovan Edwards. Uh, what has it been like going up against those two guys in practice? It's amazing. It's been, it's been an amazing uh, time. Donovan, he loves to compete. So we, we were always competing. So like he brings out like, like the competitive spirit in me. So I think, in the, for the next three years, we're just going to keep making each other better, making sure, like, being the best, because, like, we've talked about, it, like, a lot of times we're, like, by the time we get to, like, pros and stuff, we're going to be, like, when we play, go up against other people, we're going to be, like, I've been up against the best already. And this is, like, not, nothing new to me. Most of the time, like, I, I, can, I can take whatever you throw at me. But uh, and then JJ, Jay's been, he's been dominating. He's been doing his thing. He loves to compete, too. <laughs> So we're always like making like little small bets about competitive back your pass back. And he's like, I bet I'll complete every pass. If I don't, it's 20 bucks. So <laughs> and it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been a fun competition to go up against those two. Awesome, Junior. So I don't want to keep you for, for too long. So we'll just ask you a couple kind of uh, away from the field questions. Take me back through your recruiting process. A lot of fans like don't really get to hear. They get to hear from you throughout the recruiting process, but it's like daily updates and it's not really like what's going on behind the scenes. So take me back through your recruiting process, some of your favorite parts, maybe some fun memories, just overall recruitment. Uh, I think my, my recruitment process was pretty fun. A lot of people said it's like, it was like stressful and hectic, but mine's been, mine was pretty fun. My family tried to make us as like least stressful as it can be. So we. We're always like making a schedule with coaches and stuff. So it was, it was pretty amazing process. I met amazing new coaches. Now some of them are even in the pros. And I was I was happy that I was able to like build those type of relationships and not like just throw everything away. So it's been it's been good. I've talked to some of them that's been in the pros already. Uh but it was it was pretty funny for the recruitment process. <laughs> uh any anything that like sticks out in particular like that man like i i really thought that was like a cool moment during the recruiting process uh i don't know i i enjoyed every aspect of it i was like just in awe to be like part of that you know being part of like oh wow i can go caution free so in every every moment i cherished it i was like excited so everything was just like fun to me i was like oh wow everything was like new <laughs> Intriguing. <laughs> nice, nice. So, um, you know, why why was Michigan the pick, and you know, how happy are you with the decision that you did make? Uh, Michigan was picked because uh, I believed in us, and I believed in family, and they've maybe feel like family. Coach Harbaugh, all the coaches, new ones too. It was just, I feel like they're my extended family. They kind of added on to that. So, one of the big reasons why I committed there. Uh, and what was the second question? Just how happy are you with the decision now that you've actually been at Michigan? I'm I'm really happy about it. I can, I can already see the future. I can I can see myself becoming who I like. I hope to be the man. I hope to be off the field. The man I hope to be on the field. And it's coming along. It's coming along really well. So you've gotten to pay it back a little bit, you know, going from recruit to player. I know you helped recruit Miles Pollard this cycle. Tell me a little bit about being involved with him. Uh, I love being involved with him because, like, he's one of my best friends. We've known him for a long time. 
we played together and now being now we were teammates in high school and now being teammates in college is it's the best thing you could ask for ask for, you know. Having someone that you can trust and to rely on being outside of you playing with them and our chemistry has been really well. So I think I I enjoy recruiting people. I don't know why. I, I enjoy doing it. I like I watch their film like, yeah, I want I want this kid to play with me. I want to be out there with them in a couple of years. Uh, have you gotten to know any other like members of the class coming in or like have you helped recruit any guys? Uh, I've gotten to know Will. I know quite a bit. Uh, he's coming in. I saw him yesterday too. He's he's a quiet dude. He's a quiet dude, but like, he's an awesome guy. He's an awesome kid. Uh, there's a couple of linebackers that I've like watched. I've I like I worked with during camp when they came to camp here. I are committed here. I've, I'm excited for them to come up too. Just, you know, build, build, build the tradition, build the process, come compete. Yeah, Will Johnson, Miles Pollard should be quite the corner duo to, to be around you on that defense. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of people do know about your story, and it's a long story, so I don't expect you to say it all. But, you know, you're originally from Haiti. You were adopted, came here. I mean, that's one of the biggest reasons you do cherish every opportunity, and you did cherish every opportunity during the recruiting process. Uh, like I said, it's a really long story, so I don't expect you. We, we could do an entire two-hour movie on it, but tell me a little bit about uh, just your background, how you ended up coming from Haiti to being a football player at Michigan. Uh, it was a surreal process. Because I still, it seems something I still can't believe. It. I'm like, kid, I came from Haiti, being all the way here now. But uh, I don't know, I just, I always feel like I got to thank my parents back at home in Haiti, just being able to put me in the right situation, in the right orphanage to get me adopted by my current parents here. We, and they just tried to implement what they thought my parents at home had in mind for me to be able to succeed. So they'll always put me at the top of their list. So everything we did was always top tier. And uh, wow, it's, it's, it's surreal. It's like, it's amazing just being here. You know, it's like not a lot of people get this type of opportunity just from starting all the way down there. I just think God has blessed me with so much. And that's that's why I do it. Awesome, Junior. So last question before, or actually two more questions. I'm sorry. We it's like catching up with an old friend, man. We just to talk all day. But uh anything you want to tell the Michigan fans about you. Junior Colson, you know, part of this NIL thing is getting to know you as an actual dude. What, what would you tell the Michigan fans about yourself that maybe a lot of people don't know? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like talking about myself that much. <laughs> Junior, you talk to me about yourself all the time. Yeah, but like, that's different. It's like part of like friend, you know? But like, uh, I truly don't know. Uh, I thought she's talking by surprise. Uh, I'm a nice guy, I guess. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Junior. <laughs> Junior, the nice guy. Give him an NIL deal. <laughs> yeah. um, last thing for you, man. How excited are you about the future of Michigan? What are some of your goals for this year? Uh, I'm really excited about the future of Michigan. We're like, we're like headed. I feel like we have the right mindset, the right experience. So they, everything's gonna go the right way. We can go really far. And uh, I, have, I have some big goals for the season, but I always also have some team goals. So I always try to put the team first. I feel like my personal goals, if I, if I achieve the team goals, my personal goals will get achieved as well. Uh, so then what's my personal goals like being like, being a contributor, making all professional American, all that stuff. But like, I try not to focus on all those. I try to focus on like, what can I do to help the team win? So then, and then everything else will fall into place. Awesome, Junior. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you, man. I appreciate it. So definitely, thank you.